So I wanted to ask this question for the black intellectuals, not not the regular people with opinion, but the intellectuals or the people who consider themselves higher learning, higher evolved. Even if you got street game and you think you a boss and you got a, a boss leader mentality. So this is like for the boss leader type of mentality. Why? Now, now, mind you, I'm a former crime guy, okay? So when you don't got nothing and you're not able to get a job, then you do certain things to make money because you have no other way. Why, why are the crime guys still part of the black pride family? Why, why when the crime guys or the irresponsible guys or the go out there and do donuts in the street, uh, uh, steal for fun, why do they still get black pride protection? Why do the women specifically run out and march for dudes who are going, not, not no George Floyd, uh, no, uh, this is a real $20, but I'll give you another $20 uh, if you feel this one is real. See, George Floyd didn't commit a crime. He tried to a lot of people don't read how that really happened. It was a young guy, number one, behind the counter. He gave him a 20. He didn't feel the 20 was real. So he gave him a different 20. And then he went and sat in the car. Ain't like he drove away. All that would have been over if he had a drove away. He went and sat in the car and talked with his friend who was with him. A lot of people don't know the details. But not a George Floyd situation where you accidentally... Uh, and, 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 and white people are trying to hold you accountable for what you did five, eight years ago. You know, you committed a crime five, eight years ago. White people want to hold you to that forever. But Donald Trump can commit several crimes and it's okay because he's white. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking dudes who go out here and create little theft organizations. Uh, people who go out here and pushing fentanyl to the black community, uh, kicking in doors, robbing the black community, and you're black. When, when they get caught, yeah, they go to jail and whatnot, but why Why all of a sudden do some, some of us in the black community be like, look at how you treated that person. Look, uh, 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 look at, nah, if the person was doing wrong, not talk about a passenger in the seat of somebody else who's driving and and the passenger runs away and then he gets elbowed in the face no the passenger is still innocent didn't actually commit a crime but I'm talking about the people who do the blatant stuff why are they still part of the black pride community and then somebody else from, man nobody ain't no nobody has got them part of the black community we know they ain't right we, they, yeah, but there's still people out there publicly trying to protect the nonsense because this new crime bill is coming and we're going to hate it. I've been saying this since 2016. This new crime bill is coming and it's going to make the Bill Clinton thing look like nothing because we have too many dudes out there running with Asian dudes, there's an Asian dude that just got busted for an organized crime ring, too many dudes out there running with Arab dudes, but they always showing the black face of the one black guy in the group. This crime bill is going to come back and everybody's going to want to start marching, but the, the young dudes got to stop making themselves the visual image of these crimes punching the old lady at the ATM it, it doesn't matter if he's African it doesn't matter if he's Haiti they're going to blame all black people so give me your thoughts I'd love to hear it remember you can come on disagreement day and disagree with me when I do the live panel and we will talk to you soon share this on your Facebook share this on your Twitter get more people involved in the conversation peace